superb, but cannot lose this session. That is paramount. He's got the dart, so he'll be thrown first three times. One hundred and forty. Phil Taylor's last defeat in a TV major on the 5th of July when he lost to Ronnie Hybrex, 10-5 in the second round at the European Championship in Germany. And Robert Fulton, <laughs> finally, finally, <laughs> has something to be happy about, to be pleased about. He's got a chance to win a leg. He's had many chances wow. before. Robert, you require 18 rounds. Gets the 57. Now double 12. Yeah, Robert Thornton is off the mark. With a little 11 dar leg as well. Came on. That will make him feel better. Yeah, much needed. Much needed. We all want to see a close, 96. tight, contested final. Yeah, that defeat to Highbrex, since then he's won the World Match Play, the Sydney Masters, the World 60. Grand Prix, the Masters in Edinburgh, and of course the Championship League darts, the uh, behind closed doors internet tournament, unbeatable since July. Oh, he's had a hell of a lot of luck since then, come on! 134! <laughs> right, Robert, after winning his first leg, doesn't just want to give it away, wants to kick on. The way we talk about that first leg, also the fifth leg, the two legs that Thornton has had great chances to win, have both been on the Taylor throw. Feel well in control of this leg. As I said, if Robert Thornton can win three legs when he's thrown first, go into the next break, 7-3, and then win the next session after that. Baby steps. If you think of it in its entirety, it can become a bit much and a bit overwhelming. What Phil Taylor wants to do here is to leave a two dart up. And he done just that. A 180 now. Make Phil at least think about it. £100,000 for the winner. Taylor chasing Bill a fifth Grand Slam title in seven years. Double 16 for 6 1. 40. Robert, not even in the same district. 2 5 3. But Taylor hasn't Very done at his best, has he, in the final? But let's be honest, he hasn't needed to be. You always feel that if pushed, he's got three or four more gears. Game That's starting hand seven. again. 6 1. Taylor in control of the Grand Slam final. Must win leg for the Thorn. Got to get a treble. Oh dear. Will he be punished? A ton's not punishment. 140's punishment. Wow. The ultimate hand to eye coordination. Total frustration for Robert Thornton. Yeah, those last two finals, you mentioned the Masters when he beat Lewis 10-1, lost one leg. He lost only two legs in winning six sets, didn't he? In the Sixth Grand Prix final in Dublin last month. Robert dodged a bullet there with Phil only in 60. Got to get another treble. He's making life so hard for himself. A bit more pace to the board. One thing's for sure, Robert, he's, n he's not the type to, to think, ah, oh, this is beyond me. He's not, he's not like that. So if he can just hang about, at least make Phil work for it. 
Now, 180. 180. He's snatching, he's pulling. The, the rhythm is not wow. there. Well, the UK Open final beat Taylor last year, World Grand Prix. Last year, beat Taylor. He's also beaten Taylor in the Premier League this year. But he needs to produce arguably the best performance of his life if he wants to beat Taylor in the Grand Slam final from here. Brilliant start, 16. The tops. Yes! Is that a tight turner? Well, Phil smiled for a millisecond. I think he forgot where he was. Brilliant from Robert Thornton. Character as well, Stu. 97. Is this the leg? Is this the moment? Can he break the Taylor throw? Can he somehow win this session 4-1 and get himself back in the final? That's what he, he's got to believe. 60. Well, that doesn't help, does it? And when you have lost a session 5-2, it was two breaks, that, that's all. The thing is, is that when you're two breaks behind this wow. man, it can sometimes seem impossible to get back. So every little squeak, every little opportunity you get, you find yourself making a meal of, you're thinking, right, come on. And you do try too hard, and when you do that, you don't relax. Counterproductive. Well, you may remember Taylor has already beaten Thornton in a TV final way back in... 2009 at the Circus Tavern Players Championship. 58. Same distance, Taylor won 16 9. 9. That's a good marker. Well, he's all round it, Robert. They just won't go in with that at the moment. One. That one did. Keeps him a, just about a dart in front. Well, not quite a dart. Well, in fact, it doesn't keep him anywhere near the front. With perfect timing from the power. So often Robert has put a 20 above the 60, a 20 below. Double 16. 50. I wonder. Robert, you require 100. The first start goes in the 60. You've got to fence him to get a dart at double 19. I fence him to get a dart at double 19. Oh, Robert. He knows. He knows that was an opportunity missed. 134. Will you require well, it, was, it was the perfect lie as well. Irrelevant. Academic, 7-2, wins this leg, he wins the mini session 3-2, then if he can win Phil session 3-2 in the legs that Phil throws, the five legs Phil throws first, then the gap is closed again. It is a marathon, not a sprint. 16. The thing is, is that when you give someone like Phil Taylor a 5-0 head start, you're making life just slightly more difficult for well, yourself. James Wade, we remember, was 9-2 two down against wow. Phil Taylor in the quarterfinals to be fair in the knockout stages you know Taylor has been pushed all the way in the knockout stages he beat Gary Anderson 10-5 but Anderson was better wow. than the scoreline suggests he squeezed past James Wade who put up a great performance he had to see off a brilliant effort from Adrian Lewis so he's been pushed all the way not in the final so far. Third 180 of the match. Two for Taylor. Under all sorts of pressure. Got to get another 60. Superb darts. Really were. Needed every point as well. Way well, would. Well, the second and third darts, they hurt Robert, Robert Thornton. You feel, Stu, that this might have to go. Nine. 
90s. But he's given himself a chance. Still be required. If Taylor Take misses. If Phil Taylor misses, you say. Now, treble 20 or 20. Double five now. If he misses, you say. I'm afraid he didn't. Phil Taylor leads Robert Thornton in the final of the Grand Slam. 8-2. Looked like a mini revival. Didn't pan out that way. Join us after the break to see who wins.